Something else you might want to experiment with is, is like active listening. Like same way that you sit down to watch a Netflix show, you're like, tonight I'm going to watch two episodes of Stranger Things. And you like sit down, you like get ready, you have like a bowl of popcorn or something and you're like so in it, you know what I mean? I'll do the same thing with like with records, even like old records. Like I just did that last night. Um, it's great. Uh, uh, George Benson uh, record called Off the Top, George Benson and Jimmy Smith. Um, and just listening to a record as as if it was like a TV show, like all of your attention is on it, you know, like really listening to everything that's going on and sitting down to listen to music as an activity, like an intentional activity, not like, oh, I'm going to put a record on and like do the dishes and like cook dinner. It's like, I'm going to like put this record on and listen to it, like for the joy of listening to music, you know? Um, I find that that helps a lot with um, kind of what you hear in your head, you know, because when you like really intentionally put something in there, because maybe you feel trapped by the classical music because you've heard so much of it when you were little, like when you probably were so little, you weren't really thinking about anything else but the music, you know, so same kind of way, like if you if you really intentionally focus on something, um, it'll start bleeding into you and, and out. Um, so yeah, maybe try doing that too. And maybe also um limiting like to one sometimes i'll do like one record per week where i really only listen to like the same record for an entire week and then by the end of that you know like every solo you know every bass line you can like sing the, every melody and um there's something really special when you can like know an album inside out you know 